Hello and welcome back to the course on machine learning. I hope you enjoyed the previous tutorials and now you're quite confident with the upper confidence bound and the Thompson sampling algorithm, or at least the intuition behind them. And today we're going to quickly compare the two because they do solve the same problem. They solve the problem of the multi-armed bandit. And let's have a look at some of the pros and cons of each of the algorithms. So, of course, there's lots and lots of different um, advantages and disadvantages and differences between the two, but we'll just highlight the main ones. So here we've got the two algorithms. On the left, we've got the UCB and the uh, image from the intuition tutorial that um, will help us kind of remember what it's what it's about and the Thompson's sampling algorithm and same, the image behind it. So um, the first characteristic is probably uh, that is different is that, that the UCB is a deterministic algorithm. And actually there's lots of different um, lo there's lots of different uh, modifications to the UCB algorithm. You can find them online. There's lots of different white papers on how the UCB algorithm can be modified to improve it and to uh, make it better at uh, one thing or uh, like adds one advantage, maybe makes it um, uh, a bit better result, but it makes it more computationally intensive or the other way around and so on. So, uh, But all of that, all of those algorithms belong to a family uh, of UCB algorithms or upper confident bound algorithms, which are all deterministic. And basically, it what that means is that it is very straightforward, right? So um, once uh, you have at a certain round, it is very, um, if it's very straightforward, what's going to happen? You just look at the upper confidence bound and whichever one has the highest, that's the one you pick. Um, you pull the algorithm, yes, you pull you pull the lever, yes, then you do get like a random value from the machine, but that's uh, that's that's the um, that's on the side of the machine. So that randomness is on the side of machine on the machine, and then but then whatever value you get, um, it is very determined. It is very deterministic what the UCB is going to do with that value, uh, and uh, so all of the steps that the UCB actually takes, they're very deterministic. They um, there's no randomness in the algorithm itself. Whereas on the other hand, the Thompson sampling algorithm is a probabilistic algorithm because in the algorithm itself, it has these distributions which represent our perception of the world and where we think the actual expected returns of each of those uh, machines might lie. And therefore, um, every time we are um, implementing or uh, iterating in the Thompson sampling algorithm, we actually generate random values from those distributions. So if you rerun a round in the UCB algorithm, just one given round after you've received the value from the previous value from uh, the machine, and then you rerun the round, it's always going to be the same result. Whereas in the Thompson sampling algorithm, after you've received the previous value from the machine and you rerun the current round, uh, it's, all, it's always going to be different because you're always um, sampling from your distributions which uh, characterize your perception of the world. And uh, that is a whole different type of algorithm. It's a probabilistic algorithm. And th those two things, they actually have a few different um, implications, right? So uh, for instance, one important one is that the UCB requires an update at every round, right? So um, basically, the value that you get back from the use, uh, from the machine, so once you've pulled the lever and you get a value back from that machine, that value you have to incorporate it right away in order to proceed to the next round. You cannot proceed to the next round until you have um, incorporated that value, until you have made an adjustment uh, to the algorithm based on that value. Um, because if you don't make the adjustment, then nothing changes and you're going to be stuck. Whereas in the Thompson sampling, it can accommodate delayed feedback. And this is very important. This basically means that if you pull the lever and you only will get uh, the uh, result, or you will only know the result of pulling the lever uh, 500 rounds down the track, right? Not right away, you'll only get to know the result 500 uh, rounds later, the Thompson sampling algorithm will still work. Why will it still work? Because uh, if you now run um, the algorithm without even updating your perception of the world, you're still going to get a new uh, set of hypothetical uh, bandits, right? You're going to generate a new, a new expected return for every bandit because you are generating them in a probabilistic manner. And this is very important to understand because 
um, this gives the Thompson sampling that advantage that you don't have to update the algorithm with the result every time. And in in terms of uh, in terms of bandits, of course, that doesn't uh, really matter that much because if you're playing in the casino and or if some if some hypothetical person is playing in the casino and they're pulling these levers. Uh, they get to see the results right away, so they could update the algorithm. But in terms of websites and ads, that is a big deal, right? So not even just um, not even just um, displaying ads uh, on on a website, or you could use this for like A/B testing different instead of A/B testing uh, the different um, layouts of your website, right? You could you could use uh, a Thompson sampling algorithm to um, have that pair, uh, balance between exploitation and exploration right away. So basically, anything you're doing on the web with Thompson sampling or like solving a um, multi-arm bandit problem for your business or for a business on on the web, um, you you're getting all these thousands and tens of thousands of clicks, right? And to update the algorithm right away, that would be very highly computationally. Uh, or computationally costly, uh, or it might require additional resources and a complex process. Whereas if you, uh, whereas what the Thomson sampling algorithm allows you to do is to update your data set or your information algorithm in a batch manner. So you you wait until you get 500 clicks, or you wait until you get 5,000 clicks, you update the algorithm, then you run, let it run, and then it runs, 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 and then you get another 5,000 clicks, and then uh, you update the algorithm again, and it will still work. And that's a very uh, important thing that that flexibility that the Thompson sampling algorithm creates. And uh, finally, again, we're not going to go into too much detail on the pros and cons, but um, the uh, Thompson sampling algorithm is actually, it has better empirical evidence than the UCB. And uh, they, you'll find this phrase, better empirical evidence, and that's because up until recently, uh, the the theory behind the Thompson sampling algorithm, or you know, the the whole research wasn't wasn't complete. It's only been researched very detail in a lot of detail just a few years ago, and um, you know now you can find like a lot of information on the Thompson sampling algorithm. But previously, people just see that uh, from experimental evidence, the Thompson sampling algorithm does work better than the UCB, and that's exactly what we're going to see. Uh, spoiler alert: That's exactly what we're going to see in the uh, practical tutorials for this section. So we're going to be now coding the, or Tad Lan will walk you through coding the same um, exercise, the same problem that we had previously with the UCB. Now we're going to be, or you're going to be solving it with uh, the Thompson sampling algorithm, and you will see actually some very interesting results. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed these intuition tutorials and off we go to the practical side of things. Can't wait for you to get started. Hadlan will show you all around and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, enjoy machine learning.